major landforms of the earth. Rohit is going through his book reading about different landforms, then his sister, Maria, came in. Maria, what are you doing, Rohit? Rohit, Maria, please don't disturb. I want to learn about the different landforms. Great, Rohit. I can help you in this. I read this chapter in my class last year. Zoom! Let's take a tour of all. Come, let's explore these in our flying machine. They board their flying machine. Wow! What is this high area? Rohit, this is a mountain. The piece of land higher than the surrounding areas is called a hill. Very high hills are called mountains. See, Rohit? Now we are flying on the flat lands which are called plains. They are large areas that are suitable for making houses and for farming. The climate of the plains is hot in summers and cold in winters. Which is the area appearing so dry? Because I can see very few plants in the area. I can also see camels walking in this area. This is a desert. It has a large plain area of land covered with sand. The climate remains hot and dry during summers and is very cold in winters. People generally do not like to live in desert due to the harsh climatic conditions. We are now flying over plateau. It is a hill with a flat top. Thus, generally there is no peak on a plateau. It is also called a tableland. Wow, what a beautiful area, Maria. Yes, Rohit, it is called a peninsula. It is a piece of land surrounded by water bodies on three sides. Now I know, we are flying above islands. Hey, yes, Rohit, you are right. It is a piece of land surrounded by water on all sides. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands lie in the Bay of Bengal. The Lakshwadweep Islands lie in the Arabian Sea. Great, Maria. Now I am aware of all the landforms.